thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Mazzy from Mazzy's Craft Corner and today I'd like to show you how to make this lovely 3D vellum flowers. Um, they're really easy to make and pretty quick. Uh, they are quite firm as you can see so you can't really damage them. They are perfect for any project and yeah I'm going to show you how to make them. This is my first video tutorial ever so Please do bear with me. I'm going to put them away. Right, so what do you need? First of all, you need your volume sheet. You need your stamping pad. Uh, flowers, obviously. I'm using this one from the Beautiful Bunch set. And here it is, I've got it ready. You also need matching punch. And... What else? Brad base, you need that to secure the flowers and very important, your scoring tool to shape the flowers. Right, okay, so first thing you do, you use your flower stamp and stamp it all over the sheet. That will give you 12 flowers and I'll use them all. Um, I've got, um, got it all ready, otherwise it will take me too long. With the volume, it will take about 10 minutes for the ink to dry, so have that in mind. So my ink, my flowers are pretty much ready. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my punch and cut them all out. You need a bit of patience sometimes with the volume and cutting the flowers, so... What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the flowers out and come back to you in a minute. Okay, so I've got my all flowers ready and now using the brad uh, base, I'm going to stack them all up together. Um, just put that, pin that in the middle, just like that and do it to all of them. Um, if you want them flowers to look a bit more, I don't know, alive, what I would do is you could use um, heat embossing and I'm pretty sure it would make your flowers look even more stunning. I'm not going to do it now because it would take me a little bit too long and like I said this is my first video tutorial ever. Um, another thing, you can shape the flowers first and then stack them all up but it's entirely up to you. I prefer to stack them all up first and then shape them. Just makes it easier for me, I think. Be careful, don't put your fingers. Almost done. To make it look a bit more nice, you can also use um, a couple of green ones at the bottom as leaves. I think they look quite nice. Right, it's almost done. Also, make sure you don't stack them you make the uh, put the leaves, the petals separate. If you know what I mean. Right. Now you can secure it just like that. Okay. Make sure it's not too tight. Make sure it's a bit loose so that you can move the flowers around. Right, what you need now is your scoring tool. I just use scoring tool, you can use whatever you want. Um, right, first what I usually do, the last three, actually the last two, if, as you, if you turn it around, so you've got the bottom here, the last two I shape it towards the front, just like that, towards the middle, sorry. Try to do it as quickly as possible. So you do it with the last two flowers. Oh. The third one, I'll just leave it as it is. I'm not going to shape it at all. 
I hope you can see what I'm doing. How I shape the flowers, the petals. It's really easy. Right, so that's the last two. That's the bottom, and you will give it a bit more uh, 3D effect. Don't know how to call that. You can put the uh, collar here, the bread bead here, but I'm just gonna. Right, don't worry about that. I'm just gonna get rid of this one. See what happens when I'm just trying to be quick. Right. So you just do that to every single flower. Okay. I'm going to do that quickly and then come back to you. So there it is, my 3D Berlin flower. I finished it off with a little pearl gem this time. These ones have matching candy dot. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Feel free to leave me any comments. I would really appreciate them. And thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again.